What have you got for me, Ripley? Cubicle 2, a victim from the cannery explosion. She has a laceration on her right abdomen and needs stitches. If the victim is Carly, you might want to have another doctor look at her. If Claudia is a car. Oh, wonderful. A woman from another mob family. Miss Cigara, I'm Dr. Scorpio. Mm -hmm. I understand you were in an explosion tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to give you an exam. Do you like to wait outside? Actually, I want someone to look at my little brother first because he was an explosion, too. He could have a concussion or something. See her. Okay, uh, talk to the desk nurse. She'll put you on the list. No, 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 no. My brother isn't going on some stupid list. Claudia, I'm fine. Just let the doctor do a job and sign up. Okay. <laughs> Just here with the camera. Mm. Ow! Give me these stitches. We'll get to it. So Dr. Scorpio with the patient, I've got some test results I need to take a look at. I just got a call that Carly Jax is on route. Paramedics say she was recovered from the water and her vitals are depressed. Any trauma one prep treated for hypothermia. I want a team standing by. Um, Dr. Scorpio is in cubicle two. Uh, simple maceration that shouldn't take her too long. I will administer a topical anesthetic, give you stitches, and have you admitted overnight for observation. Now, before I begin the procedure, you should know that I'm HIV positive. You have HIV. That's right. Okay. But I don't want you touching me. I don't want you treating me. Okay, that is your prerogative, of course, but you should know that statistically I don't care about statistics. They should have told me that you were sick before they let you come in here. Sick. So I should take every precaution to maintain her health. Good. So do I. That's why I don't want her touching me. I'll have the desk nurse find you another doctor. You should take the time to educate yourself. You might sound less like an ignorant bigot. Yeah, would you want her infecting you or somebody you cared about? She would never risk infecting anyone. I know it's because she's carrying my baby. Maybe you need to read a pamphlet. Reservation is depressed. BP is 70 over 30. She has hypothermia. She was in the water. She's freezing to death. Oh, Mr. Jackson, we're going to do everything we can for your wife. I need you to wait out here, okay? Okay, let's move on. Three. One. Two, three. The patient was unresponsive with a weak pulse and minimal respiratory effort. So even in reactive, patient responsive painful stimuli, no indication of internal bleeding. Um, run a line to the warmer and prep for a peritoneal lavage. Treating her for hypothermia. Well, that's not that bad, right? Jess. Yes. She has a hard time breathing on her own, and they can barely get her pulse. Carla's not going to die. Everyone dies. If they hurt bad enough. Sitting. Jess. You're sitting here and you're thinking about what it would be like to lose Carly. But you can't prepare yourself for how it would feel to lose someone you love, and it's a waste of time trying. You can't think of all the reasons that Carly has to die. You have to think of the reasons that she has to live. Carly is bleeding on her own. Her vitals are still depressed, and her body temperature is still dangerously low. Now, raising it is a delicate process. We don't want to give Carly a stroke. Okay, I'll see her. I'll, I'll let you know when she's stabilized. Fire. Thanks for reminding me of that. Oh, I was reminding myself too. Are you looking for someone? Don't miss the car. Yeah. Well, he was here earlier. I think he's upstairs. I took his sister to a room. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go find him unless you want me to stay no, here. No, no, no. Sit and go. again my son and his mother were almost killed tonight 
I want to know who caused the explosion. It wasn't me. Trevor was there at the cannon. Did you know that? No. Somehow he knew about the meeting. Maybe he set the bomb. Which means you almost got your precious little brother killed. I would never hurt my brother. Shut Did up. You tell Get out. him or not. Get out. We can't hold. Who's in charge now, big boy, huh? How does it feel to take the beating, huh? How does it feel when somebody else has the gun? You're gonna apologize to my sister. You're gonna say I'm sorry, Mr. Carr, if I offended you. I'm a filthy piece of garbage. He never should have put his hands on you in the first place. Say it now. John, it's okay. I don't want an apology. I'm going to set a cat off right now, but I don't want to have a murder trial. I'm gonna burn down your life, and when you're crying in your eyes, I'm gonna squash you like the cockroach you are. He's a dangerous man, John. You just humiliated him. He's gonna be out for blood. Son, he's got a lot more to lose than I do. I'm gonna take it away from him piece by piece. That's the John I remember. You seem so quiet, but your temper's even worse than mine. <laughs> slowly raising her body temperature. What about the baby? Well, there's no indication that Carly suffered a miscarriage. But at this point, our priority is stabilizing her. Yeah, yeah. Carly's most important. But if you can save them both. We're doing everything possible. Carly. You're here. All three of us. You made the baby. But he's okay. You just gotta make up your mind to fight. Okay? You gotta hang in there. Just hang in there. What's happening? What's happening? Mr. Jackson, you have to leave. Excuse me, Mr. Jackson. What? Did she stop breathing? personality and, and one part of him doesn't know that the other part is there or is this the real Johnny and the, the kind loving guy is is an act something that he does for me oh my god what's wrong with me what is wrong with me why can't I just admit he is, is crazy and, and move on